Yeah, why couldn't you go? Um, it's not that I couldn't go. I didn't, I didn't think about it. Um, I know, I, well, let me take that back. I know some people had gone off on college tours. Um, we didn't have extra money like that. Like, right. Okay. Yeah. We were doing, you know, I mean, it was a cross country flight. Yeah. We were doing fine. Right. We were doing cool and all right. Had a house and, and all of that, but we didn't necessarily have money for all of these. I was just adjacent. There was a, there was an old movie called, um, um, something Beverly Hills or God. Oh my God. I missed it. I missed it. Yeah. I, but, yeah. Yeah. But it was like this, this family who was actually poor, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but they lived in Beverly Hills because there was like a, a sp- Beverly Hillbillies. No, no. The Beverly Hillbillies were actually rich. He shot and found some oil on his land and they, they oh, got rich. This, okay. was, this was like from the, some show from the nineties. I'll remember it later, but, uh, or as a movie or something, but they were just rich. They, they were able to afford an apartment in Beverly Hills. And so, you know, um, they got to go to the good schools, even though they were like lower middle class. Mm-hmm. Um, that is what it was like. And so I didn't get an opportunity to go to Atlanta. Right. Okay. But I had this idea of what a college was supposed to look like. Well, you grew up around Berkeley, so you've been ruined <laughs> for yes. college campuses. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was Berkeley. Even... I mean, when we drove, when we visited and we drove through there, it's like a movie set of frat houses. Yes, that that side of it. Um... I'm like, oh, yeah, these are the houses. That I was like, okay, I'll deal with whatever bullshit I have to to be able to live in one of those houses. Yeah. And right, right. Although, ew, also. Like, right. I wouldn't actually want to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's like I grew up in, you know, there was UC Berkeley and then Stanford um, was over there. Uh, San Francisco State, you know, here State. I mean, the Bay Area is such a beautiful place that it is hard not to, um, you know, have a beautiful plus didn't know, they have different pictures on their brochures or whatever oh i never saw a brochure oh yeah and there were no websites if this was oh my god yeah. you were really walking into the dark yeah i mean the web was just starting to kick off then you could mail you, you could call and request and they would mail you a they package. would mail you a brochure yeah, and you get right. a pamphlet i didn't do any of that right i Okay, fine, I knew fine, I, fine. Yeah, yeah, no, but I went, I knew I wanted to go to a black college and I wanted to go to I guess that became sort of the thing because um uh one of my best friends um both of his parents went to uh Southern. They were from Louisiana, so they went to Southern. And so it was an option. I knew it was an option. People talked about it. Morehouse was a thing, and so I was like, yeah, I think I'll go be a part of that. Atlanta was popping, you know, the music scene was just picking on, so it uh, picking up. So Atlanta seemed like the place to be. But I get there, and it was like, whoa, 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 like record scratch. There's a lot of record scratches because immediately I felt the bifurcation of society. It was white, and it was black, and it was humid. Oh uh, well, and it was hot as shit. Like we let's not even get there. It was hot. I mean, so okay. Because you're getting there late August, early September. When- yes, late August, mid mid August, late August. Um, well, the worst. Yeah, so I'm sticky. So obviously, coming from the West Coast, and you think down south, you think Jim Crow, slavery, and all that. So I I get down. You know, we we get out there, and I'm feeling this heat and this humidity, and I'm like, and I'm getting flashback. You know, backs of slavery. You know, epigenetics through my <laughs> through my ancestors. Like, <sighs> oh hell no. Nah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ain't no way I could have been out here uh-huh. picking nobody's fucking cotton and Anything, tobacco. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. So I'm physically uncomfortable. Like, man, dude, this place, this don't have a good feeling. So for maybe, me. maybe that's part of why Atlanta has always been like the pulse of fighting back all this bullshit <laughs> because you think it's so visceral. I guess. <laughs> and so, and then we drive to the the campus. And I'm expecting this UC Berkeley picturesque, you know, University of Michigan, you know, university. Man, we start driving through the hood. Mm -hmm. There are projects over here. You're like, I know what this is. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just I just left this. I was going off to college. Where are we? (laughs) 
<laughs> You're in a loop. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait, wait, wait. I thought I was getting out and I'm back in like the hood again. I'm like, what the hell? Um, <laughs> the video game was reset. You thought you were up leveling. Yeah. <laughs> it just got reset. Right. So I'm physically uncomfortable with the heat. I'm my, the picture that I had had painted was burst. Yeah. Um, and then I'm really, you know, after being there a couple of days, I'm, I'm feeling the city. Um, and in the mid nineties, it wasn't the Atlanta that people know now. It was still pretty much just black and white and white people live like North of I-20, you know, and black people live South of I-20 and, you know, there were, you know, rich neighborhood, there were rich neighborhoods and poor neighborhoods on both sides of this divide. Like Atlanta has had wealthy black people for a long time, but they all lived in their own wealthy enclaves. Mm -hmm. Right. And this was so weird and uh, such a culture shock to me because coming from the West, um, even though there is, you know, segregation and, 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 and all these different things, it's more about you just have these communities because we had them all. We had the Chinese community. We had the Japanese community. We had the Filipinos. And then you had your various, you know, mostly Mexican in terms of, you know, Hispanic or, you know, or Latin uh, representatives, black and, 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 you know, Nigerians and Ethiopians and, you know, all different, different, you know, white people. It's It was very mixed and eclectic. And you had your pockets and your communities, but to get into the nice, you know, there were just one nice area and, well, I, I, God, grammar, there were nice areas and the entry into those nice areas were, did you have enough money, mm -hmm. you know, which obviously racial and ethnic issues play into that. But if you have enough money, you go live on the hill, right? Mm -hmm. You go live in this neighborhood because you have the money. No one really cares. Um, but in, in in the South, it was like, yo, black and white. And growing up around, you know, both of my neighbors growing up were Chinese, you know, Chinese immigrants. Um, Mexicans lived behind us. And so, you know, I'm, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting the neighbors, you know, cooking, you know, cooking Chinese uh, and they were Chinese immigrants. And so they had, you know, you know pots and a whole cooking apparatus and situation out in the backyard and they had their own, <laughs> they had their own, you know, chickens and they were growing corn and it was, it was, it was great. And so mm -hmm. you would have these smells here and then behind us, um, behind us, there was like a quadplex. And so they would have like huge parties and, and, you know, Tano music is playing and, you know, you're smelling the barbacoa and all this. I mean, it was phenomenal. This is how I grew up. And then I go to Atlanta and I, there is no Asian presence and there is no Hispanic presence. And these are my neighbors, you know, growing up. And so I'm feeling, I'm, I, I'm like, wait a minute. It's I'm like going, eating without salt. It's right. like, what happened? Where's the, where's the flavor? <laughs> Why y'all living like this? Yeah. You know, and so, you know, it, Atlanta has flavor. It's Southern. It's very rich. It's very proud. It's got a lot of butter. It has a lot, it's a lot of butter. That's, that's a great way to put it. There's a lot of butter. There's a lot of salt and there's a lot of pepper, but the cinnamon and the, and the, you know, cardamom and the, all the different spices wasn't there. And so I did not give it, I didn't like it. I did not like it. And so I was just in a foul, foul mood because None of this was going to plan. And then, you know, the the computer science class, Atlanta didn't, I mean, Morehouse didn't have a developed computer science um, program. So I just made a, I just made this, I just had this whole idea of what life was supposed to be like. And I sought after it and nothing lived up to the hype. Mm -hmm. Like I just made it all up in my head and everyone was content to let me think that. And it was nothing like what I imagined. Um, and I guess because of that, I ended up doing one of the stupidest things that I possibly could have done, which was break up with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm.